I am Chef Diane DeMayo and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today we are going to learn how to shuck an oyster. Let me tell you something, these bad boys are some aphrodisia. All right, but what you want to have are the right tools when you shuck an oyster. Okay, we have two different shuckers. One, which is a flat nose, I call them noses, is for clams. Kind of goes right in towards the ridge. And this one is a lift shucker, perfect for oysters to get right up under that lip and crack it open. You want to make sure that you have a towel. Why? Because we don't want to stab yourself and in case this happens to slip, and here's a little disclaimer, if you happen to slip with your little shucker, it's not my fault. So be careful when you do this at home and be extremely careful. Here we go. I put the oyster right in between my towel. I get a nice good grip and I take the shucker and I go right under the lip. Oi! Ooh, did you hear that little blood? Go in and with a little bit of wrist motion, you flip it open. So point of entry is right here where it comes to kind of like a little, I call a tip. Go in, remove the meat from the actual muscle. And that's the muscle right there that holds the shell together. And one of the reasons I like getting fresh oysters is because one of my favorite things to make is a po' boy sandwich with some fried panko oysters inside of it. And that's all there is to it. I scoop it out, put it into a bowl, or I keep it in and just slurp it right up. And this has been another bootleg tip, but I'll see you next week. We are making something that is super yummy. A pan fried pita bread with some Italian sausage sauteed with onions and Savoy cabbage. And we're topping it off with a masa and that is a creamy yogurt sauce.